So you may have just picked up an Apple Watch SE 2 and you might be trying to figure out how you can connect it to your specific iPhone. Now doing this is actually a very, very easy process. It really doesn't take too much time. I'm trying to make sure it looks good on the camera. Now to get started, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're on your main page on your specific Apple Watch. Now what you can do here, and it tells you just bring your iPhone close to your specific Apple Watch. So now all you have to do is bring your iPhone close to your Apple Watch right here, and you should be able to see a little pop-up that comes up. Now if it doesn't, you can move your iPhone away and then bring it close back to your Apple Watch. And sometimes it should end up working. So I had to switch iPhones, but basically we now have this little prompt that comes up. If it doesn't work for you, just restart your phone. And you wanna go and click continue. So again, once your iPhones are set up you know, next to each other, now you'll get this little pop-up that comes up. Now you can go and configure whether you wanna set it up for yourself or for your family member. I'm gonna set it up for myself. And now you'll get this little pop-up that comes up. Now, all you wanna do is go ahead and put your iPhone right within this little area right here. And you basically wanna put the camera over that little module thing. And now it'll go ahead and allow you if you wanna restore from a backup or you wanna set up as a new Apple Watch. In this case, we'll set up as a new Apple Watch. Now, are you going to put your iPhone on your left hand or your right hand? Depending on that, you'll basically be able to configure it a little bit further here. So in this case, I'll just keep it on my left hand because I do wear my Apple Watch on my left hand. And now it's going to go ahead and after I click continue. Now, one thing is if it can take a little bit of time to actually go ahead and get your Apple Watch all set up. But at this point, it's going to go ahead and say connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. Now, if you just bought your Apple Watch brand new, you should be okay and you shouldn't have to type in an iCloud account or anything like that. But sometimes if you did buy a used Apple Watch, like in this case, an Apple Watch SE2, hopefully you don't get into a little prompt that tells you, hey, you know, type in your iCloud account. Because if that is the case, then that's gonna be a little different. But at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and wait. You can go and click, you know, agree terms right here at the very bottom, go and click agree. So here you can go and type in your Apple ID if you want to. In this case, we'll just go and click skip this step, but I would recommend typing in your Apple ID. It's going to go ahead and tell you for messages. I guess you're going to have to type in your Apple ID anyway. And then typically it'll take just a few moments for it to go and configure. So you might as well type in your Apple ID passcode at that moment. And then you can go and figure out if you want to go and type in your passcode here. In this case, I will not use a passcode on my Apple Watch and I will not use a passcode there. You can go and figure out if you want location services. I would recommend keeping it on. In this case, I'll just disable it. So I'll just disable it right there. And then you can go and configure if you wanna go ahead and have your text size, how big you want it, how small. Usually I keep it the same. Then you wanna go and click continue. And then shared settings, you can click okay. Personalized settings, you can go and configure that. And activity, you can go and set it up. In this case, I'll just go and click skip this step. And then it's going to say if you want notifications, you know, I would probably recommend keeping this one on. Safety, you can go and configure this. App view, I usually keep it on the grid view right there. Go and click continue. And then it'll go ahead and configure and it'll go and sync up. And this can take a few minutes. It can take like 10 minutes, 20 minutes sometimes. But usually on the Apple Watch SE 2, it doesn't take too long. But that is it. After a little bit of time, your Apple Watch SE will then boot up. And you should be able to go ahead and use your Apple Watch SE 2 as you normally would. So that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.